are Ham Radio. Well, hello again, everyone. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm here to do a quick video, you guessed it, about All Star. I'm getting a lot of questions about different aspects of All Star, and one of them that seems to be repeating quite a bit is what are private nodes inside of All Star? Well, if you use the Supermon 2, or even the Supermon 1 pages, you can see that the first node at the top of the list is your node number that you received from All Star Link. And in this case, it's 58176. And I've labeled it specifically, and I gave it a custom label. But you can see that it's in this square box here. It's the first one in the list, and it's the node 58176. It's currently idle, and it's currently connected to 1997. Now, 1997 is a private node number because all the public node numbers issued by All Star Link start with 2000 and go up from there. But every time you set up a all Star Link node with Hamboy software, you get one private node by default that is usually 1999. I added this other private node after the fact so that I could use my DV switch. DV switch is some software that you can add onto your All Star node to bridge your All Star node with a digital service. I use it to bridge to my TGIF DMR talk group, which I believe is 314. Let's look that up. My personal TGIF talk group is 314-3399. I also manage 319-6188, and that's our ham radio clubs uh, node. But let's go to 314-3399, and you can see there's been some traffic on it already, but that is my talk group number on the TGIF network using DMR. And I'll do a separate video on this at some other point, but I'll uh, explain some of it now. DB switch can be installed onto your All-Star node and configured in such a way that you can connect a device to DB switch, talk over my TGIF DMR talk group, or you could just use your PyStar uh, hotspot anywhere at home if it's configured and tuned into the TGIF DMR network plugged into my talk group and if you talk on that in the group mode then you would be communicating directly over my all-star link because it is linked 314-3399 and is concurrently bridged over to my public node so I guess what I'm trying to say is these private nodes are there for extra add-ons. They give you the ability to add a DB switch connection to your All-Star node. You can configure that DB switch bridge to go to DMR Brandmeister or DMR TGIF or even D-Star to a, a group or room that you configure. And it's also been done with YSF. I haven't done that one yet, but I plan to in the near future, and we will do a video on that as well. It's really quite handy because if I'm on DMR using a hotspot with like, say, my Anytone uh, 878UV plus on my PyStar hotspot anywhere in the world, and I do a group call to my TGIF talk group 314-3399, it's going to talk right over my node here in Henrietta, Oklahoma and go out over my radio. You can actually tell a difference in the audio, but it's completely understandable. And it's quite helpful if you have users out there that don't have all-star nodes to talk in on. They can, and they do have a Pi Star, they can talk in over TGIF and talk directly over my node. Another use for a private node on an all-star node configuration is Hamshack Hotline. I don't know if any of you have heard of that. I'm sure some of you, if not most of you have, 
But Hamshack Hotline is a service out there, a free service that is run by amateur radio enthusiasts who configure uh, Cisco and other IP phones to work over the internet to make actual phone calls to other hams. But you can also configure that Cisco or <laughs> other uh, phone to work on an all-star node. You configure your all-star private node to work with your local Hamshack hotline phone and you can do communications from station to station. Let's see if we can understand this. Just a quick demo uh, showing um, all-star, my all-star node connected to Hamshack hotline. I'm going to do a redial, and then we're going to dial me. Oops, what did I do? Redial, dial me. Hello, this is Alpha Charlie 8, Zulu Delta. You're connected to All Star Node 550461 using Hamshack Hotline. To push to talk, press star 99. When finished speaking, press the pound or hash key. Alpha Charlie 8, Zulu Delta, testing. Yeah, I have a lot of radio, so, <laughs> so that's pretty cool how it's linked up like that. But that's just a little short little demo. So you kind of get the gist of it. If you have a Hamshack hotline phone and it's configured to your node, you can use it as a radio to talk over that node. You can also do it with a network radio. I have one that's called the uh, Enrico T310 that I am going to do a video about pretty soon. You can use it to connect over the internet to your home all-star node using DV switch installed to onto that device to connect to my home node. It's really quite interesting. DV switch is a very flexible little add-on that uh, really adds some flexibility to your all-star node. Now. Uh, show you I've got my hub this is the ham radio crusader all-star hub 576331 that stays connected to the KC5 HWB uh, hub in Grapevine Texas 43136 I'll hit the bubble chart on that and you can see when you do a bubble chart from all-star the blue one is always you and then the arrows connect to it but you'll see these pink ones they're kind of outliers Let's zoom into this one here. This is our node here, my uh, Ham Radio Crusader Hub 576331. And connected to it is my uh, 70 centimeter repeater in Preston, Oklahoma, node 57788. And it has a DV switch TGIF DMR hub configured on it as well, and it uses private node 1997 that's what you see here node 1997 not in database that is my DMR hub that is currently connected to the public node in my all-star node for my 70 centimeter repeater that's why it's showing up in the bubble chart so let's look at this one over here this is Brad this is Brad Kellison N8 PC November 8 Papa Charlie over in Finley Ohio He's helped me out with a lot of this stuff. He helped myself and uh, AA5PD configure our first DB switch bridge. He has done it with DMR Brandmeister. We did it with DMR TGIF. But he's got private nodes here. Node N8PC, not in database. Node 1999, not in database. This sounds like it's probably a Brandmeister bridge. This one is probably a TGIF. This node here is a different uh, individual altogether. KC8DGB in Conesville, Ohio. They're connected to Brad directly, who is connected to Ham Radio 2.0 Hub 43136. Belongs to KC5HWB down in Grapevine, Texas. Thanks to that hub, which is a cloud hub, it can handle a lot of traffic and it connects a lot of people in a lot of ways. It's very, very helpful and very, very awesome in my opinion. As you can see, DV Switch can be installed onto an Android device, onto a Mac, OS, or Linux, or Windows PC, and it communicates through the internet into your modem router, straight to your Raspberry Pi, 
where you can hook up a, a DB switch server if you want to, but in our case, it's a DB switch server on a onto a Hams, Hamvoip All-Star node. And that's why you see these extra bl blocks, extra nodes as it were, like this one is my home node. This one is the 70 centimeter repeater. It says Old Mulgee, Oklahoma because the link radio itself actually is, but the repeater is located in Preston, Oklahoma, about 15 miles away. I left the initial 1999 private node that comes configured when you first configure Hamvoit, and I added 1997. These steps will be added in future videos, but I just kind of want to give you the gist of what's going on here. And this is my all-star hub, the Crusader Hideout Hub 576331. It is a radioless hub. I took a Pi 4 8 gigabyte and uh, did not connect a radio to it, but I configured Hamvoip onto it and put one of my all-star nodes to it and uh, configured it for everything else, but it does nothing but serve as a go-to point. So if I want to connect to the KC5HWB ham radio 2 point hub, hub in Grapevine, Texas, who is connected to a lot of people. I just connect my device, my home node, to my hub here at 576331, and it is already and almost always connected to Jason's hub. So once I connect it, I'm already in the loop for everyone else. And we can all have a big round table discussion or just need to make a QSO. So that's the long and short of it. I'm sorry it's a short video, but I wanted everyone to know who wasn't aware what private nodes are. They're there to help you make additions to your node and add on different things as you please. And the videos will be coming soon enough so that we can cover DB switch and Hamshack hotline and maybe even hams over ip they are a lot like hamshack hotline but it's just a different group of hams that provide the same service i'm not sure if they do an rf link like hamshack hotline does for an all-star node but i believe they do i'm just getting into that part of it myself i have a hamshack hotline line as it were but my phone recently failed on me and i may have to replace it so that'll be future videos yet to come so if you have any questions or you're just curious about uh, uh, Ham Radio Crusader or any of my videos, go to hamradiolife.org. It looks like a website from the 1990s, but you guess what? It's our website. <laughs> and there's a lot of good information here. And it'll I'll, I'll be going through some restructuring with it here in the near future, but there'll still be the Ham Radio Crusader All-Star page. Which take you right to my Supermon 2 page, the Ham Radio Crusader YouTube channel, which will take you right to our YouTube channel. The list of all the current videos. And down here at the bottom, you could not you got a nice link to programming software downloads, and I also have some uh, cable diagrams and stuff in there as well. And this will be growing as time goes along. There's some very good information on that page. Here's our WX5 OKM club repeaters. It's our uh, ham radio club out of Mulgee County, Oklahoma. And there's the YouTube channel again. Uh, if you hit the all-star link, it'll take you to our page, or my page, on the allstarlink.org website. And from here, you can click my bubble chart and see who I'm connected to currently. And this is also the TGIF uh, page for the Ham Radio Crusader talk group, which is 314-3399. You talk to it, you'll talk right over my all-star node here in Henrietta, Oklahoma. All right, folks, that's it for private nodes for now. I just wanted to make sure you all knew what they were and why they are there. All-star link is one amazing service. It's free to all ham radio operators. You provide the equipment to build your node at home, and all of us can talk for free over the internet all over the world. All Star Link's a great thing. Great and wonderful thing, my friends. So folks, this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, hoping all the good signals to be yours, saying seven threes from KD5FMU. Ham on, y'all.